Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs on your Thursday evening. First bit of news today, Eric Dyer has come out and said that he is better equipped stamina-wise this season to deal with playing without a winter break. Of course, he came from Sporting Lisbon in Portugal where they do have a break over the Christmas period. And this, he says, was something he wasn't used to last year and he felt that his performances dropped off after Christmas as a result. He said in an interview in The Standard that he thinks this season he's a lot fitter than he was last year and it shouldn't be anything to worry about, which is fantastic, of course, because he's been, for me, one of our best players, if not the best player on the park all season for Spurs. He also says that he has been inspired by Harry Kane and in particular his quick rise to prominence through the ranks at Spurs. He says that he's known Kane for years and that they've played together in lots of England under age groups and it's just inspirational to him how Harry has really come on leaps and bounds, become a full England international and Eric Dyer says his aim is to learn from that and go with Harry Kane to Euro 2016. Second bit of news today is that Chelsea apparently are interested in buying or signing Emmanuel Adebayor on a free transfer to help them in the second half of the season. Now, I think this is one of the funniest things I've heard because as if Chelsea weren't having a terrible enough season already, they're interested in potentially bringing in a complete sourpuss into the, uh, into the changing room and ruining everything for them. What's especially hysterical about this is that Spurs really hold the key to this actually happening. Daniel Levy is still paying Adebayor's wages, apparently upwards of £100,000 a week. And he, let's face it, he doesn't have a great relationship with Chelsea, even back as far as 2004 when uh, they, or 2005 when they stole Frank Arneson, our sporting director of us back then. So Daniel Levy, would he let Adebayor go to Chelsea? It seems unlikely, but maybe he should, because frankly, I don't think it can do them any good. And anything that stops them going on a good run or continuing their half decent run of the last three or four games would be great if you ask me. And finally, in today's 7 o'clock news, Paul Merson has come out and said that he thinks Tottenham Hotspur could be in the title race this season. As unbelievable as that may sound, he's a huge Arsenal fan and ex-player, of course, and it hurts him to say it, but he thinks we're in the mix. He thinks Man United are poor. He thinks we should have got a result at United on the first day. Of course, we lost there because of a Kyle Walker on goal, and we haven't been beaten since in the league. What do I think about that? Well, Paul Merson saying that we've got a chance. Either he's trying to put the uh, the buffers on us, jinx us, or actually he's realising what we're all realising is that we've got a tight, solid unit with really exciting players going forward. And if we can keep this unbeaten run going, starting with West Brom on Saturday, who knows how far this team could go. I'm not going to say we're going to win the title, but who knows. If we can stay in about the top four, stick near where Liverpool are at the moment because they're going to be going on a good run. They're already on one. Uh, they beat Southampton 6-1 in the League Cup last night. We've got to stick around them and try and put the pressure on your Man Uniteds and your Arsenals and keep Chelsea way below us. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of those news stories in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. In goal, Hugo Lloris. Right back, Carl Walker. Centre half, it has to be Toby Alderweireld and Jan Vertonghen. Left